name is Grace Kimel. I come from Noro County, uh, Transmara Sub County. I, I attended the um, Damama Primary in high school, and then I went to uh, uh, University of Belgorod where I, I did Bachelor of Actuarial Science. Yes. Uh, why are you here today? I am here because I am flying to the U.S. Uh, Michigan State Grand Valley State University. I am going to attend the in the BSU to study uh, data science and analytics masters. This data science will actually help me to progress in my career because uh, at, the point, uh, at the point where uh, currently I have been working in the bank for the last uh, seven years. So data science will actually propel my career as a data scientist and because I want to be, I want to venture into the big data number. So this is actually a very big step for me. This is my first flight. I've never, fly, I've never flown anywhere. This is my first flight. I'm very excited, a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. Um, I have two layovers. My first flight is from Nairobi to Johannesburg, South Africa. Then from South Africa, Johannesburg to Atlanta, that is my point of entry, and then from Atlanta to Grand Rapids. Or oh, from Grand Rapids, that is, I have somebody going to pick me up from uh, Grand Rapids Airport to Allendale. That is where I'm going. I knew about Kenya Airlift from uh, from Facebook, uh, from Bob's uh, posts. I've known for a very long time. I don't know why I didn't join it sooner, but I'm still glad I'm here because uh, I knew about that in around 2020. But I, do, I didn't think actually much about it until I saw the post last last year about uh, somebody, uh, some people who are going, uh, and then that is when I decided to seriously consider and then doing You are watching Success with Bob Mweti Show, presented to you by Upstech America. Upstech America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstakeamerica.com. Upstake America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential. Kenya Airlift has helped me, first of all, to make me realize that it is possible to apply for a, a, a school in the US because I, I knew it was very difficult. I actually didn't even think that it is possible to apply for school, to go to school without a scholarship. But uh, uh, Kenya Airlift has actually helped me. I do think the school has helped me and I know the to take. It has helped me in the process, the entire process. The entire process, yeah. It has made my application very simple because this is my first application. The schools I applied for, I was accepted for all the schools I applied for, and if it was not for the guidance schools. Uh, I've tried applying before, but because of, I lacked the guidance before, I, I have never been accepted to school. But once I joined the airlift and then they told me what to do, uh, they helped me a lot. When this interview was, I was asked a lot of questions, but uh, my, in, actually the preparation, because of the preparation that I was given, I was guided by, the, uh, still by the same program. Uh, my visa interview went smoothly. It was my first attempt, uh, and I got it, but it went smoothly. My family are very elated. I am the first person in my family to, to fly. I am the first person in my family to go to the U.S. So my family is very elated, they are very happy, they wish me every luck. My family is very happy. I, first of all, I, I plan to be a role model for my other siblings and uh, the community, the entire community, because I don't think, like in my village, I think I am the first person to go to the US for studies. Maybe maybe visit and all that. But I'm the first person in my village to go to the US to study. And that is an inspiration to to my community and I plan to I am I plan to empower them, to encourage them and show them this is possible. Yeah. I am first of all I'm I am planning to because I'm venturing into like it's like I'm Slightly changing my career path, so meaning like the, the course I'm going to do is a little bit intense. So I'm planning to go to use to maximize these two years to learn a lot of uh, programming, coding, 
I am I am planning to to see if I can get experience to work with uh, at least the uh, international companies and or international uh, companies that I can actually get the international uh, experience because I've never worked with an international firm before. I've never worked with international uh, community, so I am planning to maximize this chance. So that it can actually be for my career. Yes, I want to, 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 to travel around the US. I want to see the US. Like, there are so many places that I've just been hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, I am planning to, to travel, to see places. I'm, pl I'm planning to travel as much as time and resources can allow me. The message I tell them is uh, you look as much as uh, the program helps. It has to be like you have to have that. Uh, that drive and you have to be hungry about whatever you want to be and it is very possible. I never knew it is possible. I actually planned that maybe my visa will be approved next year. I thought that maybe I will try the first, the second, the third. But it is very possible. As long as you can plan yourself, you can, you, as long as you can prepare yourself, it is very possible. Yeah. You have been watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show, brought to you by Upstech America. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in USA through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to Bob Mwiti channel on YouTube and also follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.